sense of this wine, how we met and got married. Linda, wife of star actor Obi Namafo, aka Saint Obi, has unbuttoned her heart a little about how both of them met and eventually got married in a tearful tribute to her dear husband and father of her three children. She said, I believe that our meeting was divinely orchestrated. The events leading up to that day and those that followed, the very specific words of prophecy and the signs that confirmed them. You told our mutual friend immediately after you set your eyes on me, right there at the airport, that the only reason I wasn't married at that time was because I was waiting for you. You called me your wife even before you spoke to me. It was everything spiritual and clearly part of God's plan. You often told me you knew I would be your wife that very first day we met at the airport on my way to see my parents. It was on October 19, 2006. You not only proposed but also said your vows on November 5. And by December 27 of the same year, we were married. You were highly domesticated. You could cook, clean, and organize. You told me you could even bake and sew. Kudos to your mother who raised you and your sisters in this way. You believed that the world should be a better place and you worked so hard towards that goal. Regrettably, we didn't achieve all we could with our plans, but I'm grateful that we accomplished a key part of that dream through our incredible children, Chidera, Obina, and Nembe. You adored the three of them. You were overwhelmed with joy and awe when you first became a father, and the birth of each subsequent child filled you with the same emotion. Ogemde, I miss you. I miss the way we used to goof around. I miss our discussions about our humble beginnings. I miss your goofy attempts at speaking my dialect. I miss developing our medium and long-term plans. I miss how you called me Oyoyo and I called you Mwambadi. I miss you. And I still don't quite know how to feel. This should not have happened. It is very difficult to accept that you are gone. That my children no longer have a father and I will never behold your honky frame and draw your nose again. The children and I pray for you daily. Your death has left us despondent. The children and I are trying to deal with it together and in our different ways. Muhammadim, losing you to the cold hands of death is my deepest sorrow. I close my eyes and imagine what could have been. I wish this was a dream. Your exit has redefined life and its meaning to me, and nothing can heal the pain inside. May God himself keep your soul safe until someday when my soul finds you again. I love you. Always have. Always will. Linda sent Mwafo Oyoyo, your wife.